Hello guys and a very warm welcome to today's video where you join me on the flight deck of this EasyJet Airbus A320 for today's flight from Slender Stansted to Sharm El Sheikh. Uh, today we will be based in the first officer's seat um, just pretty much to vary up a little bit and uh, sort of get the first officer's perspective of life in his seat. Um, so obviously we're on the ground here at uh, London Stands Theatre, gate 30 I believe, yes we're at gate 30. Um, we are today Easy 69 Romeo Charlie flying you from Stansted heading you to Sharm El Sheikh. So, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to start the load fuel, that can be done instantly. We go to the aircraft doors and we'll open the required doors. Today we are travelling on Golf Echo Zulu Tango Bravo. Um, no, we're not going to be running the checklist today. I will be doing everything sort of as it should be on my side. I've requested the catering service, but that's actually here it is. It's just turned up, and uh, we'll sort of we'll go from there today. Um, so the first things first is we'll come up to the overhead panel, and all the fuel pumps can come on. And now we'll. Align the IRS to nav. That takes a little bit of time to sort of align. Simple signs and non-smoking signs can come on. The passenger emergency si uh, emergency exit lights can be armed. As like so, the wing lights can come on. So if we do quickly go into a cheeky wing view and uh, a quick sort of pan around the aircraft today. So obviously we've got Golf Echo Zulu Tango Bravo uh, on the ground here at. London Stansted. We need to see one second, we just need to open up the doors for the catering service to commence. Sorry about that chaps. Um, so there we go, uh, so we're on the ground at London's Stansted Airport. Airbus A320 for today's 5 hours and 11 minutes service, 5 hour 11 minute service to Sharm El Sheikh. Obviously, we are scheduled to depart in about 15 to 25 minutes between that sort of gap would be great for us, really. That's the sort of aim for me today. We're on Vatim, there's no air traffic control, but as you can probably hear there's a little bit of movement around the sort of airport, and you can probably hear some sort of static aircraft. Well, not some static aircraft, sorry, some traffic. Um, so while the catering service is just sort of taking place we can come into the flight deck yet again and we'll come down to the FMC or the MCDU whatever you would like to call it. So today we're at Echo Golf Sierra Sierra flying you to Sharm El Sheikh which is Hesh Hotel Echo Sierra Hotel. Today's flight number is Easy 69 Romeo Charlie Cost index today is 6, cruising altitude of 370. We'll go for that in just a little bit because there's um, a little bit behind the sort of the background into 370. We're going to have to put a step climb in and all that, but we'll do that very shortly. Today is a co route, is a Golf Sierra Sierra 2 Hesh. Not in the database because I have accidentally not exported it properly. That's my bad. Sorry about that one, guys. Um, so, a standstead a variable 4 knots, so I don't... The preferred runway will be a standstead. Uh, runway 22 is the preferred. So, we'll go departure. Um, runway 22. And it is today the... Let me just quit your PFPX. What have we got? Delta one Delta. So, so obviously we're going off uh, runway two two, which will be the Delta one Romeo. Inserting that, we will now close the doors for the catering services so they can get sort of away. Um, Delta Airways. Now today's flight plan is Delta to UL six to Dover to UL nine. So UL six to Dover to UL Upper Lima nine. Uh, after UL9, after UL607. We'll just let that sort of sort itself out. Now we'll request boarding. 
away for the boarding to start. Obviously, uh, Conan, uh, you're also going to UM150. So, UM150 can go in there. After UM150, we'll then be heading to Uniform Zulu 380. Zulu 380. And we can then go to Mike Uniform November. Insert. We'll just double check all that's okay. Um, Mike Uniform November back to Airways. And then we'll continue from Mike Uniform November. So UM867. UM867 to UN132. UN one three two UN one three two to KEA direct to Kumbi. KEA direct to Kumbi. Direct to Kumbi after. She's just starting to get a sort of rough idea now of how long this uh, route actually is. Airways from Kumbi. Um, the heading then L six one two to A sixteen. Alpha 16 to L677 to cap it to cap it done insert that we'll, oh, I can now actually close PFPX and that's okay so today's route for you guys we'll head o over, do over Dover uh, through Brussels, through Germany, over the Austrian Alps, flying and then sort of parallel to the coast of sort of Italy or the sort of the water around there. Before then, coming over Greece, over Athens, over the Greek islands, and then pretty much after that, it's a straight line to Cairo, and then over, then a bit of a left-hand turn over the uh, sort of period of the terrain area to Sharm El Sheikh. Before then, coming to the right-hand turn and in for a approach into 04 right I believe or 04 left or depending on whatever that's our route obviously for today um, weather on route seems okay we'll go flaps 2 for departure flex, flex temp of 67 degrees today so we'll go back out to the outside of the aircraft today for a bit more of a pan around obviously the boarding is obviously taking place um, nothing really much to do really, I mean, everything in the flight deck is ready to get going. Um, there's not to, uh, anything else for us to really consider. So while GSX uh, finalises all the boarding, we will then be back for our push and start. So guys, the uh, boarding has just been concluded. We're going to close the required doors. We're going to go to the ground services. We are now obviously going to set the parking brake lose the ground services and that can stay as that. Um, we'll now request staff push back which will just be uh, if we can a straight push back. Start our APU obviously that's all okay. Um, just got to wait real really for the push back tug to come and connect to the aircraft. Again, so the uh, pushback tug is just coming round to the aircraft now. Um, that was a little bit of an issue there with Kotil, but that's okay, that's been sorted. The beacon light can come on, never logo can come on, the symbol signs uh, can just maintain as they are really. Um, we'll just leave it as it is now and wait for the GSX to do its job with the pushback. So we're departing today, runway 22, uh, London Stansted, um, Detlin 1 Romeo. Offer us a five hour service to Sharm El Sheikh, and it is going to be dark down in Egypt. That's a fact. So it's going to be an evening uh, approach and landing. Scheduled to arrive about 4, 5, 6, 7, about 8, half 8, 9 o'clock. And it's scheduled to be about 35 to 38 degrees. So we're coming to our pushback now. Uh, got to be a little bit careful of company traffic. There is a British Airways plane over there. Over that hasn't moved, which is fine. Uh, 
quite a long runway at Stansted, so you'll see no main toga, just be using the flex. Obviously, like I say, you saw the programming of the FMC, only 60 or 67 degrees. Today, So what we'll do now is we'll flick that across to end and start. And uh, what we can do is we can start number two. So number two, just uh, starting up there. There you go, it's just booting in. I'm, I'm pleased and I'm happy now to start number one. Okay, so let's wait for the pushback to come to a conclusion. Be quite soon. Here we go. There's the conclusion of our pushback. Set the parking brakes. Wait for it. Set the parking brakes. Okay, we'll run off VHF2. I will run Unicom today. One, two, two, decimal eight. Overhead panel. Uh, looks okay really. APU can come off. The APU bleed uh, can now come off as well. We'll be running today off of a flaps 2. So we'll set flaps 2. Flight controls check. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Full up. Full down, neutral, rudder, full left, full right, neutral. And start back to a normal ignition switch, back to normal. Taxi light can come on. Have a good trip. Immediately got to look for a uh, left hand turn. A little bit of lag, sorry about that. So, so leaving gate 30, um, we'll be going bra Bravo. Hotel Romeo one. So we'll proceed for a hotel uh, to Romeo one, runway two two. Down we come. Um, take off config. We max auto brakes. Auto brake max. Spoilers can be armed. That can be checked. That's okay. Overhead panel. Um, Camera crew, seats for departure, please. Thank you. So, left down Romeo. Straight on approach, lights can come on as required. On 
bottom runway. Two, two. Right, it's a bit break. Everything is clear. T gas can come on. Flex. Let's go. Bye bye, uh, London standstill. One hundred knots. V one rotate. Positive right climb, gear up. Our uh, weight there, obviously, starting to show. Main toga. We'll go, we'll go toga just for the time being to uh, try and get the speed under a little bit more control. What well, pilot can come on? To flight level one two zero. And everything seems okay. So there we go then guys, we've just left a London Stansted bound for Sharm El Sheikh. We shall see you for our approach and landing. Hello guys, and a very warm welcome here to our approach. This evening into Sharm El Sheikh uh, Airport. We're just currently descending to 3,000 feet. Turning left, heading 110 one degrees. On the heading, we'll be establishing the localizer for. Uh, if I just double check. Um, this evening is he's running four left at Sharm, which we are landing. On this evening, just about to level off at. 3,000 feet to so we'll lose the speed brake, uh, we'll go flaps 1 and I want to try and decrease speed now to 180 knots now turn left heading 080 degrees uh, we just double check now with our Approach phase, uh, performance approach, performance approach, uh, three, six, eight, sixty. Okay, that's all we needed. Uh, performance approach phase, activated approach phase has been confirmed. Okay, so now we're going to come to the MCP and engage at the VOR localizer. Turn zero six zero degrees. Obviously, you're getting the starting to get the field there. Obviously, in sight. Open panel. All the lights are as required. Uh, Cabin crew seats for landing. Uh, seats for landing. Thank you. They've got a bit of an issue with the emergency lights. I um I thought it was the seatbelt signs during the cruise. And I disarmed them by mistake, so that's my bad. <laughs> Anyways, um, <coughs> we've got the glide path. Come on, we want that localizer as best as we can, but we are obviously going to be unable to get the localizer. Flaps two. Down to 2,000 feet then. 
Come on, we want that localizer. Okay then, where are you localizer? It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Okay then, gear down. Bit of a speed issue there, so speed. I'll be able to sort itself out. Engage approach, flaps full. <coughs> Excuse me. Final approach speed today of 152. That is our final approach speed. Go around the altitude can be set. There's a uh, Sharm El Sheikh obviously there coming into view. Uh, on the speed brakes. Fifteen hundred. We'll disengage about 800 feet, but well, not going to disengage just yet. Good evening, Sharm El Sheikh. It's 42 oh, degrees. I didn't realize it was going to be uh, this hot. Rip. Um. Okay. <laughs> My phone just ripped out on me. Anyways, right, here we go then. Zero four left. Aircraft is mine. I have control. Find that flight director as best as we can. Landing. One hundred seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard ten five. We're down. Full reverse. in the centre line a bit there. Manual brakes. Cancel reverse. There we go. Lost the speed brakes as well. So there we go. Welcome to Shamrock Shake. Flaps up. Vacate left. Overhead panel. Off they come, that to go to taxi, strobes can come off. Although APU can come on, and I also want the main lights there to come on. So, let's get us off to a gate. So there we go, zero four left arrival there into a shamble shake. Just going to taxi ourselves off to the gate. So that's another video gone, another video being completed all the way from London Stansted on a 4 hour 59 minute service. So we did arrive before schedule, which is always a good thing, no matter what the situation is. Let's get, all get ready now for the next crew because I am not flying the return journey because I don't want to be arriving at about uh, 3 o'clock in the morning.
well no, about, that's over exaggeration, but I don't really want to be arriving about 1 o'clock in the morning back into Stansted, so I'm off. Um, thank you again guys for the support, um, there's a new, uh, another video coming out shortly, which is a new thing starting on my channel, which I think you, oh, I hope you guys will find interesting. To say the least, a uh, very warm welcome, and um, we'll just conclude our flight here, let's we'll pull it into gate 8. We'll uh, get GSX up. A little bit of GSX lag, that's just the pre GSX swaggy lag. That'll do. Lose, I'll set parking brake. Lose. Number two, Squawk 2000. TCAS is off, lose number one. There we go then, overhead panel. Um, Silver signs are off. Uh, beacon lights can come off. Taxi lights can come off. Uh, the fuel pumps will turn them off. IRS is off. Request uh, rip. Request deboarding. There we go. So now we'll go across to ground services. We'll have all the ground services which are required. We'll go aircraft doors. Up to the overhead. We'll have external power. We'll lose APU. We'll lose APU bleed. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll open up the required doors. And uh, can uh, conclude our easy jet flight to Sharm El Sheikh. So once again, guys, uh, thank you. Like, subscribe, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.